Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Alejandro Perez, the CGI Nerd. In this video, we're going to be going over how to get access to this shelf and the tools associated with it. This is the game development tool set. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're starting here with a brand new scene and we'll see that we do not have the game development tool set here. Um, another thing that you'll see is, let's create a quick geometry node is that when we go into our tab menu we don't have any um, game dev tools here so if we want to install all of that we will go to shelves by clicking on this plus sign here shelves and then these are all the different shelves that we can actually add on to here the one that we want to add right now is the game development tool set clicking on that here um, it gives us the shelf but we'll see that nothing has changed yet so we go here to um, no game development or anything like that uh, the reason is because we have to update tool set so if we click on this um, it'll give us an option to update we can choose the version and there's occasional updates so you might want to come back and check to see if there's any updates occasionally so that you get the most up-to-date version of the tool set so I'm just going to click on update here and that's going to go through the process of installing then I'm going to push OK uh, we will see that it doesn't give us any tools yet what we have to do is close down Houdini and then open up Houdini again and when we open up Houdini this time it's going to load up all of the extra tools that were installed when we click the update button so let me shift the window over to the recording window here and we'll see that all the way at the end here we have the game development tool set so if we click here we have access to the shelf now and then also if we create a geometry node and there's other types of nodes as well that will have extra um, game development tools but you'll see here that we have a game dev option here and then a whole bunch of really cool tools that we can actually use for game development so that is it for this quick tip tutorial I hope you found it useful if you did, please share out this video and like it, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. See you guys in the next video. Bye.